you're looking at the very last film being shown at the Corning Palace Theater. Now don't worry, that doesn't mean that the popular theater is going out of business or not showing movies anymore, but reels like this are going to be a thing of the past because the Corning Palace Theater is going digital. As I've said, the customers are going to see a presentation we have not been able to show them yet. And that excites me because that's going to take them to a whole, whole new level of experience, second to no one in the area. Corning Palace Theater owner Tim Bonomo has been in the movie theater biz since 1982, doing everything from splicing film to running the popular theater on Market Street, but making the switch from 35 millimeter film to complete digital is new even for the 30 year professional. We go through a process where it ingests the film, decodes it, and then projects it on the screen. So it's really the difference between an old fashioned physical format and kind of 2012, which is, you know, digital. Everything, everything's digital. With today's technology, the 35 millimeter format might seem ancient to most people. The projector runs through miles and miles of film off of these platters and shines a beam of light through each individual frame, projecting an image out onto the big screen. A film deteriorates each and every time it's shown, so if you saw a movie weeks after its release, you weren't getting a perfect picture. With a digital file being the new medium of the future, a lot of the headaches of 35 millimeter film will be ancient history for the Palace Theater. I can't tell you how thrilled I am to know that I'm never gonna have another scratched print. I mean, that, that to me is huge that uh, we'll never have what they call a brain wrap where the machine doesn't do what it's supposed to and it all collapses in on itself and you have miles of film that you have to now by hand take out. Digital projectors output a cleaner image, upgrading not just the picture quality, but the audio quality as well. Obviously the digital sound will make an improvement in the sound. The actual picture, you're going to see a picture perfect presentation every time. To dismantle the old projectors and install the new ones, Tim had to close the Palace Theater for a week and bring in theater technician Andy Mill. Tim might be the film expert, but Andy is the digital mastermind, requiring days of hard work to focus on every minute detail before the Palace reopens. It will be an improvement for the customer. The customer is going to get the best presentation they could possibly get uh, from here on. The old projectors are gone, and in just a couple of hours, the new projectors will be put in place right here where the old ones were. And next week, we're going to show you the digital projectors up and running here at the Corning Palace Theater. With your Tech Connection, I'm J.D. Buno.